Hey everybody, it's Boo Ray Perry from Tampa, Florida, and today I want to talk about Fuji's earnings report that just came out recently. What the state of Fuji, where Fuji is and where Fuji is going so the rest of us fanboys can know that we have a company that's going to be around for a while. Uh, the good news is that Fuji looks to be in, in, in great shape. Things are going very well for Fuji right now despite the supply problems that they've had and, and the pandemic and how it affected Fuji. Things seem to be going really well. But if you look at the report and you look at the press release that they released when they put these reports out, it's really interesting to see just what it is that makes up the money at Fuji. So let's dive into it just a little bit. Good morning, by the way. It's morning here in Tampa. So what they released was uh, the first quarter of their new physical year, which would be the 2023 uh, physical year. And revenue year over year from a year ago rose 27.6%. That's major. You know, they sold 27.6% more widgets uh, than they did a year ago during this time. And that's fantastic news. I, very few companies are in trouble when they're selling 27% more stuff year over year. And that's great. Now, you have to remember that their professional medical and imaging business accounts for a big part. We like to think that it's just cameras and film, but it's not. They have a professional medical imaging business as well, and that rose 30%. Yeah, 30% year over year. So that's a big deal. Their medical and imaging uh, business is charging forward and doing very, very well. But then we get to cameras and film. And this is where it gets interesting. Professional imaging was up 47.9% year over year. Yeah, that's right. Professional imaging, 47.9% growth year over year. That's fantastic news for us because this is professional imaging. We're talking about cameras. We're talking about the cameras we love. And then consumer imaging, which is not what we use, consumer stuff, that was up only 17%. It's nice. It's a good gain, 17%, sure. Not as good as our gain, right, at 47.9%. Okay, sorry, but our gain was better. So here's what the press release actually says. It says, in the professional imaging business, that's the stuff that we love, revenue increased significantly due mainly to strong sales of the X-H2, the X-H2S, and the X-T5. Where's my X-H2? Here we go. This baby right here. And uh, which were launched in the previous physical year. And the, also the X-S20, uh, which I did a video about that camera. And they say that's done very well. High capacity battery, high performance autofocus, video and recording functions. Great. Good news. Cameras are doing fantastic. Meanwhile, over in the consumer imaging business, uh, revenue was boosted by strong sales of instant photo systems, color photographic paper, dry mini labs, and other materials. Sales performed well for the latest entry-level model Instax Mini 12 and the hybrid instant camera Instax Mini Evo, which incorporates digital technology as well as Instax. Uh, also the smartphone printer Instax Mini Link 2 and the Instax Square SQ40, which is a square format Instax camera. All of these were, were done and, and launched. Uh, the Instax SQ40 was launched in June of 2023. It's been well received. So that's where the consumer side came from. The 17.7% the 17 increase on the consumer side came from Instax. The 47.9% increase came from our cameras. <clears throat> but here's the important thing to remember. Consumer cameras, right, Instax, they only increased 17%. But the total revenue for these cameras and systems, right? Even with the giant increase to our cameras, the professional imaging total was 42 billion yen. The consumer imaging total was 63.2 billion yen. That's right. These increased by 47.9%. Unbelievable, that's great. And these increased by only 17%. But these do 63 billion yen, and these do 42 billion yen. It's worth remembering, if you are an Instax, you know, not an Instax, but a Fuji person like I am, and you love Fuji cameras, you love the X100s, you love all of that stuff, it's worth remembering that this is the bread and butter of the imaging division. It's a total income from their imaging division, 
combined is 14% of their total income. And of that 14%, this is 10% and this is 4%. <laughs> All right. They've sold 50 million of these. My daughter owns two. My daughter owns two and I own this printer as well. They have sold 50 million of these cameras. They have sold more of these cameras than digital cameras. They've sold more of these cameras than all the other digital cameras by the other digital manufacturers in a year. This is the golden goose when it comes to Fuji. This is where Fuji makes all of their imaging money. And it's really interesting to think that with technology being what it is today, Fuji is still making the bulk of its camera money from selling Polaroid film. These cameras and Polaroid film, I'm sure the film is really where they're making the money because the film's not cheap. It's like a dollar a picture versus five cents a picture if you take your stuff down to you know the store. So it's just really interesting that Fuji has carved out this whole world of film that is insects film, you know, Polaroid Polaroid style film. And it's worth remembering that that's the bread and butter of Fuji. So, you know, when you when you see somebody running around with their Instax camera and you're like, oh, you know, mm, uh, you know, get a real camera, be a real photographer. Just keep in mind that if it wasn't for those people, we might not have our real cameras from Fuji. <laughs> Fuji takes the money that they make from Instax and they pour it into the research and development for the cameras that we love. Because, you know, there can't be a whole lot of research development that goes into coming out with a new one of these. Not nearly the research and development that goes into coming out with this, right? So thank you, Instax. Thank you so much. It's nice to see that Fuji is having a good year. Uh, it's nice to see they've had a good year. It's nice to think, see that things are going well because we want them to be a long, around uh, for a long time and uh, keep making these cameras that we love so much. Uh, hey, listen, if you are a new photographer, maybe you're an Instax user, and uh, you want to learn more about photography, I've got a couple of free ebooks for you. Down in the description, you'll find the links to my free ebooks. One of them is just what should you do when you buy a camera, when you first buy a camera, what are the things that you should do right away to set that camera up to make it easy for you to use and easy for you to learn with. And the other one is 20 photographic definitions that everybody should know. Uh, these are definitions that I think every person should know, and all those definitions have links to videos here on my channel that are walking through teaching me what those definitions know. Even if you think you know them all, it's worth refreshing to make sure that you do. Because if you know these 20 definitions, I think then you're really prepared to dive deep into the photography world. And when you're ready for that, be sure and check out my ebook on natural light photography, which teaches you how to recognize and see good light, how to find that good light no matter where you are, and also exactly how to set your camera up so that you can work quickly and efficiently to take great natural light portraits. Also on the, that same section of my website, and the link is down there, you'll find my video on how to use off-camera lighting outside on location. And of course, you can always sign up for free tutoring from me, not free, I'm sorry, paid tutoring from me. <laughs> paid tutoring from me where I will get on Zoom with you and teach you anything that you need to learn, which is absolutely the fastest way to learn anything about photography is to have someone who is right there addressing exactly what your problems are and fixing them for you. So anyway, it's all down in the description as well as links to all of my gear so you can see all the stuff that I carry. And if you click one of those links and you buy something, I get a couple of dollars and it helps me to keep this channel alive. All right, enough talking about my stuff. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.